Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a vlog and I think you guys are actually really going to like it. I also wanted to say like I have been loving the comment section lately like you guys have been caught. I don't know. I feel like there's just been a lot more comments and we've just been chatting a lot more and I literally love when you guys leave comments. So with that being said, if you're not someone who normally comments, please comment. Get involved, you know? Anyway, so before we get into the vlog, I wanted to do a little haul. So this is from Nasty Gal. I made a little order. I'm actually working with them on this Porsche's vlog. I love Nasty Gal. I actually have followed Nasty Gal since like literally years and years and years and they were one of my dream brands to work with for the longest time so this is really cool but i'm going to show you guys a little haul of the things that i picked up of course i will have everything linked down below for you guys first thing i got are these nude boots which i thought were so cute but the reason i really love them so much is because they have this little black sole and it's so cool like just that little added detail i think this is super cute so this will be cute in the summer with like dresses but also i love this just with jeans i also love these with like baggy jeans um a little tank top and then like a huge oversized leather jacket i love that um so anyways i'm obsessed with these and i really needed a good nude boot but i'm really picky on the colors like i don't want it to be too brown i don't want it to be like too cool toned and this is like literally my ideal the next thing i have another pair of boots oh or not boots of shoes these i'm so excited for so is it esquadrilles am i saying that right anyways these are really in for summer and i've loved these before it gives you some added height i love how it has like some i wanted to say acrylic this is how i'm so into home decor um I love the black. I love how these are so neutral and super cute. These will be so cute with dresses, skirts, even jeans in the summer. I just literally love these and I'm going to wear them so much. I think they're super cute. Okay, I got a swimsuit because if you guys are living under a rock, um, actually I think this is the vlog that you guys see the rooftop, but I have a rooftop. So I need more swimsuits so I can lay out and get tan. Um, this is the swimsuit that I got. It's super cute. I love brown and black together like if you see my house that's pretty much besides my room is all white um it's a lot of brown and black and i love high-waisted swimsuits so these like this cut of a swimsuit is so flattering the next thing i picked up is this dress so i love having dresses in the summer because to me wearing a dress is the equivalent of wearing like a sweatsuit i know that sounds so insane but you just put one thing on and it's like so easy it's also really hot in texas so it's really nice. This is just a long maxi dress. And I just thought it was super cute to have. Um, but I love wearing dresses because you literally throw one thing on. It looks like you tried. And they're actually just like really, really comfortable. Got another pair of shoes. I'm really into Nasty Girl's shoe collection right now. Oh my gosh. Thank God I got these. Okay, guys. So these are super in like heeled flip flops. I know that they're not going to be for everyone, but I think that these are so cute. I love the heel. It's just like so different and so, so trendy. I love going to Nasty Gal, especially for trendy stuff because um, it's really affordable. So cute. Um, I know that they're definitely not for everyone, but they're in this summer. So, you know. Okay, so this dress. So this is like super obviously dressy. I just thought that this would be really cute to have if I have like a nice summer thing i think it's like seriously so so cute all right so the last thing that i picked up is surprise surprise another dress i just love this one i love having long dresses especially because if i'm not tan i just like these more i like how this one ties up in the middle and then there's little slits it's just super pretty and i don't know just perfect i love the idea of just throwing on dresses throwing your hair up in a bun or like keeping it messy and then having like a nice lip gloss brush out brows a nice moisturizer on that's like my summer vibe okay so anyways that was really um a mood booster in terms of lauren's podcast just having like fun new spring clothes you know anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i will have everything linked down below and then we can get into the vlog Good morning, everyone. Um, I have just been in my reading corner all morning. I loved the other day when Keaton went through her morning Devo, but I just like read a bunch of stuff. So if you guys want me to start going through like my actual devotion and stuff, let me know. But um, yeah, I've just been reading. Something I've really liked about quarantine is that I have so much more time to do it. 
Um, so I will literally do like two to four hours sometimes. I mean, also like there are days when I will like miss, so I'm not this like angel saint. But um, I don't know. It's just like really kind of I think changed like. My relationship with God and it's been like amazing. Anyways, I just wanted to vlog for today for you guys. I'm really excited. Also, I'm really excited because I found this recipe on Instagram and it's the perfect bar but like balls. So I found a recipe and apparently it's amazing. So I'm going to make those today, which I'm very excited for. Also, I'm going to go try out my Dyson Airwrap again and fix my hair, see what I can do there. Another thing I've been doing is when I wake up, I'm trying to drink a full Hydro Flask before I even drink coffee and I've been feeling so much better while doing that. I also made a video live. I need to post it to my Instagram story. I just like love sharing my life with you guys so much and I love vlogging like literally so much. I don't know what it is, but just like feels like I'm hanging out with you guys for the day. I don't even know like I just like literally love it. I also kind of just want to be more, even more open than I've ever been in vlogs and more like, I don't know, I feel like I have shied away a little bit from faith stuff just before just because I know like not everyone wants to hear that or see that or whatever and like totally get that, that's totally fine. It's just such a big part of my life that I feel like, I one, it's like the only thing I really care about honestly and then two, um, it's just such a big part of my life that it feels weird not talking about it more. I don't know if that makes sense. I know I do talk about it, but I just need more in depth, I think. So I'm going to film like a faith kind of Q&A. It's not going to be the entire channel. I know this whole start of the vlog, please don't cook out, um, has been a big part of it. But don't worry, I'm still going to be doing a lot of other things. I actually really want to get back into making like beauty and fashion videos. I feel like I basically just do vlogs and like routines now. And I really want to go back to that. Like, I love Julia Haven's, like, Walmart videos. I love that stuff. Like, there's so many other videos that I really do want to do. So comment down below. Like, I love the Walmart recreating, like, Hailey Bieber and Madison Beer's outfits and just things like that. I think that's so fun. And I love that. Um, so, anyways, with that being said, I am filming a Beauty Favorites video today. So that will be up soon. But I'm about to go film a Get Ready With Me for IGTV. You guys really like them on Instagram TV. So guys, I just want to say yesterday, I was like, wow, my skin is clearer than it's ever been. <laughs> and look, literally break out right in the center of my nose. So of course that happens, you know? All right, guys. So this is basically the same shot as my last vlog because i'm wearing the same crew neck i'm like living in this it's so cute i tagged it on instagram but um anyways this is like the leftover of my hair with my first try with the dyson um i am going to go in with my second shot guys i love this thing as you all already know if you guys have the air app comment down below um i just need a more like tutorials on this this has really been something i'm determined to get so good at my makeup and hair so you guys will be like wow who is she you know honestly it really is when you put this on because there's arrows and there's two of them um i just like guess as to which one's right you know? So this is the bottom layer. I like this curl better than this curl. I don't want to fix it because if I try to make it too perfect, then I won't like it. You know what I mean? This shouldn't be, shouldn't take long. Like this literally is taking me like three minutes, guys. Okay, I just want to say that this curl is perfect, guys. Let's just give it up for me. Look at that. Perfect. All right, so here's my hair. I already think it's better than yesterday, but I actually really like it. It's just easy. Like this is way more... Um, kind of like my style, I think, than like big curls. I don't know. I like it. Um, so I'm going to film the Get Ready With Me for Instagram for IGTV. You guys can just go. It'll be up on my Instagram already if you guys want to go watch how I do my makeup for today. But I'm going to put this away really quickly and then get all of that set up. I still haven't had breakfast and I'm really looking forward to my breakfast. All right guys, so I just finished filming my makeup. I'm actually gonna go and edit that right now and then post it to Instagram because I just feel like it and why not? So 
I'm gonna go do that right now. It won't take me that long. And then after, we'll go downstairs to the kitchen. But here we go. I need hairspray, I think. Here's my hair. I'm trying to give you guys like better light to see. I'm really liking it. The lighting in my room is so good, which is awesome. Um, but I need to put my stuff away. I keep all my makeup in my, look, it's like so messed up. I don't know why there's tape on it, guys. Um, my base makeup bag, I'll have it linked down below. It's like the best ever. It's Shay Mitchell's line. I'm going back to my office to edit. I need to import this footage. It's so cute. I can't wait for my new rug to come. That's just really exciting, guys. All right, I just edited that video so quick and I posted it, or I'm posting to my IGTV right now. So if you guys are coming from this vlog, go comment and let me know. Um, just comment on that IGTV video saying coming from the vlog. But I have to post like a selfie as a preview and I'm just like not good at taking selfies. I never post selfies because one, I don't take them. Like I was taking it and I was like, I feel so awkward because I like, don't do this. But I don't know about you guys. It's just like, I feel like some people are, you know, just natural selfies and like, it's just not me. Like selfies are just really not my thing. So watching Danny's vlog, I'm posting this. Guys, here we go. Just posted. See, selfies just make me feel weird. Um, but here we go. It is my niece's birthday um, in a few weeks. So I'm getting all of her birthday presents. I literally thrive being an aunt. And I also want my daughter to be just like her. She's literally perfect. I'll show you guys what I'm getting. So she's really crazy hyper. I just texted my sister and I was like, or my stepsister. And I was like, does she have Twister? Because it's one of those things she would love. She's in gymnastics, but we would all hate. Because she would just be crazy about it. But I'm going to get it anyways. I got her some pool toys. She wants just like a cute little kitty pool. This is stuff for me. And then also, I'm actually getting myself a kitty pool for my rooftop. And then she's really into Harry Potter now. So I'm getting her Harry Potter um, pajamas. But she will love this stuff. I'm so excited. For lunch, I've decided that I'm going to make this sweet and sour cauliflower that I saw on Instagram. I have a board of things I want to make and I got all of the food. So um, that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to watch Brooke's birthday vlog as I cook this. I'm so excited. So, um, stuff. All right, so I just chopped up onions, carrots, and then the cauliflower. I didn't, I don't have any bell pepper. It does call for bell pepper, but I'm just gonna make do with what I have. All the way up here. Making some coffee. All right, so I'm kind of just making do with this recipe. I cannot find my cornstarch literally anywhere, but I made the cauliflower and then the vegetables, and I finally combined them. I'm about to put, I'm about to put the sweet and sour sauce on that I just made, and then it'll finish cooking. The rice is currently in the rice cooker, but I just feel like a chef. Okay, I just want to say that this looks awesome, and I am really proud of myself. So I'm going to plate this. I have a little bit of brown rice. I definitely don't have enough. Um, I'm, like, so out of it for the first time literally in my life. I normally have bags of rice in my pantry, but I need to get some more, I guess. So I'm going to plate it on top of whatever I have that I just made, and then put some more, and then I'll put the rest in a container. But I'm very proud of myself. Here is the meal, guys. I am very impressed with myself. I'm gonna taste test. It is so good. Oh my gosh. This is seriously incredible. It literally tastes like takeout. Wow. I'm gonna make this literally all the time now. It's literally just like vegetables too. I mean, there was a marinade and sweet and sour sauce homemade with like a lot of other things. My gosh, it is so good. Okay, I just changed my top because I didn't want to wear this black top. Um, in the video, it just like throws off lighting. For some reason, it just really, like my under eyes have just been not the best lately. Like, it with makeup, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I also think it's, my under eyes feel weird, but I also think it's just because I'm not used to wearing like this much makeup right now, just because I haven't in so long. Um, anyways, I feel so much better. I was just so hot downstairs that I was cooking for like an hour and a half with a bunch of other stuff, and then... I just was like overheating and so tired, so I made a cold brew. I'm gonna drink this cold brew. I'm gonna film a little, a little faith Q and A, which I'm really excited for, because a lot of you guys have been requesting that. So I figured I might as well. I've been putting it off for like years, and then also I'm gonna film my beauty favorites. So everything that I love, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So I'm really excited. I've been loving filming sit down videos lately. Guys, it is now like 4:30. I just finished filming both videos. I filmed the bathroom one in here. I was just filming all of the 
product shots, um, but I have to put all of this back now, which I'm like, where does this stuff even go? Okay, so I have Bible study at seven. I would love to go on a little run. I don't know if that's actually possible. I'm gonna check by the time I actually get out and finish this stuff. I feel like I can maybe squeeze it in. Um, it's just really weird that I really want to go on a run because it's extremely out of character for me. Oh my gosh, look at me right now, guys. I think you guys will really like that video. I need to take my makeup off. See, it was on for such a short, short period of time. I just can't survive with it. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just, oh, I really, really, really do not love the feeling of makeup after I haven't worn it in so long. I had my whole tray set up perfectly to where it was so cute and now I have messed it up because of this video. Anyways, I'm gonna wash my face and I'm gonna throw on some workout clothes. I'm at least gonna squeeze in like a 30 minute workout. I really wanna go on a run, but we'll see what happens. All right, so I just changed, it's only 4.30, so I need to FaceTime Val in like an hour and a half. Um, maybe two hours actually. So I'm just going to go for a short little run. I haven't just gone running in so long. Couldn't tell you the last time. So it's not going to be um, my best run ever. But I figured I might as well go. And for some reason, I'm just really feeling it. I think it's the cold brew. Um, Nike, Lulu, Adidas. It's my outfit. Okay, guys. I just went on a half mile jog to warm up. I'm going to do a Melissa Wood Health like workout for probably like 30 more minutes. I don't have that much time, so I'm just squeezing in a workout. All right, guys, I'm back. I've showered. I actually just cleaned it downstairs, did some dishes, and now I am making these like perfect bar inspired balls. I found them on the Healthy Half um, Instagram, and then I saved it. So this is the recipe. I just melted the peanut butter and honey. If you guys want to see the actual recipe, you can just go to her page. But I'm going to make the rest of it. I'm really, really excited because I love perfect bars. It just reheated the sweet and sour cow flour. I'm out of rice, so I'm just having the leftovers for dinner. I do this a lot. I'll cook lunch and then I'll just eat it for lunch and dinner if I just don't feel like cooking again, but I made those little ball things. So I'm gonna FaceTime my friend Val. So we have this Bible study Tuesday night, so we FaceTime before and then we do it on Zoom. If you guys wanna join the Facebook group for details, link below. But anyways, I'm just gonna eat this. She's gonna FaceTime me in a second. Probably catch up, talk a little bit. I'm about to hop on our Zoom little Bible study. Oh my gosh, Coco. What? Okay, guys, this is what I mean. I literally straighten this rug out every single day and it just falls. Rug tape is no help. It's just tragic. All right, guys, just got off the Zoom. It was so incredible. So if you guys want to join, um, the first 100 people are always let in. Uh, I will have the Facebook down below because that's you join the Facebook group and then you kind of get the link and like all the details and stuff. But anyways, um, I think I'm going to read. It is 8.20. I was actually getting really tired before it even started. So I'm hoping if I read, I'll actually be able to go to bed at like 10, which will be the earliest I've gone to bed in who knows how long. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye.